I must begin this lecture with a confession. I was wrong. For a lot of years, I taught that kurtosis was a measure of how peaked or flat a curve is. It's not. Kurtosis, despite what I have taught for many, many years, is not about the body or the peakedness of a curve. Just like the skewness is in the tail, so is the kurtosis. Kurtosis is a measure of the thickness or heaviness of the tails of a data distribution. A normal distribution has a medium amount of kurtosis. If the tails get thinner, we call this a leptokurtic distribution. And here I'm exaggerating the thinness and the height of the curve for illustration. As the tails become thicker, we would describe our distribution as platykurtic, again with a lot of exaggeration. But here is also the source of the confusion about peaked curves being leptokurtic and flat curves being platykurtic. When you pull the tails of a normal distribution apart, it's easy to focus on the middle of the curve becoming flatter. However, in the real world, leptokurtic and platykurtic distributions may look nothing at all like a normal distribution. Now, in my defense, I was only teaching about the peakedness or flatness of the curve because that's how I was taught. But I've recently learned that, in fact, kurtosis is truly about the tails. Let's begin by defining kurtosis, and then I'm going to illustrate it for you. This is a normal curve. It has a medium amount of kurtosis, so we would describe it as mesokurtic. Mesokurtosis is a property of normal curves. The measure of its kurtosis is 3. In some statistical programs, in order to make the interpretation easier, rather than reporting a kurtosis value of 3, the kurtosis will be centered on 0, with values less than 0 being leptokurtic and values greater than 0 being platykurtic. However, the actual value of the kurtosis is 3. In a leptokurtic curve, the tails are more narrow. Their kurtosis values are less than 3. But in a platykurtic curve, the tails are thicker. Their kurtosis values are greater than 3. Let me illustrate this with two types of distributions that we are going to see extensively in this course. What we are looking at in the blue line is a normal distribution. The dotted orange line is a T distribution. Don't worry about T distributions versus normal distributions right now. We'll learn more about T distributions in later lectures. All you need to know for now is to focus on the tails. Looking at the tails in this distribution with two degrees of freedom, we see that those dotted orange lines are much thicker than a normal distribution. They're pushed out more. Now I'm going to increase the degrees of freedom to 15 and watch what happens to those tails. They move in much closer to a normal distribution. Let me increase the degrees of freedom again, this time to 30. And now we see that our T distribution lines up very closely to the normal curve. Note that I'm using the normal curve for comparison here, which may not capture the true significance of kurtosis. For example, this is a leptokurtic distribution, even though the top is clearly flat. Mathematically, the tails are narrow. And this is a platykurtic distribution, even though we would describe it as peaked. Mathematically, the tails are thick. Honestly, spotting kurtosis is very difficult just looking at histograms and line graphs. If you want to catch kurtosis, use a QQ plot. But to explore how to do that, we are going to need another video. And now, you have been properly taught 
about the meaning of kurtosis. Thank you.